Hi, uh, welcome to 12 Rivers Internal Arts. Um, so I'm going to be putting together a series of tutorials within the 10 animals of Xingyi Luhachan. Um, first one we're going to start with is going to be the chicken. So today I thought I'd share a little bit of the shape and then there'll be a half an hour tutorial that will consist of five, uh, pardon me, six five minute sections breaking down the essential skills within the shape. So this sort of is the first uh, sketch of that. We start with chicken because chicken builds the legs. In Xingyi Luha you have six achievements. Chicken legs, dragon waist, bare back, tiger head embrace, uh, eagle claw, and sound of thunder. These are physical skills that develop in the order mentioned to help transform the body. Chinese Kung Fu is body tempering. It's learning to transform the body by getting past the muscle, into the tendon, into the bone, into the chi. Um, so, Anyway, the, we do this by creating shapes. We learn to build shapes through oppositional force. We learn to relax into the shape so that when we relax, we get filled. The more we empty out by relaxing the tension in our body, the more life force we, we are able to uh, absorb uh, and receive. So anyway, um, the shape for chicken. The feet are tight like we're on a balance beam. The torso, instead of being square, turns forward so that the front arm is like a wing. The wrist is open, the hand is stretched, the elbow is open, the shoulder is open. My back hand, hand is open and on my ribs. And in this instance, I'm in a gongbu position where my back leg is straight, my front leg is bent. And again, I'm not like uh, this. My head stays straight and my feet are narrow like I'm on a line. So I can be in gongbu, or I shift and I come up on my back toe. This is jibu. This is the position we step from. So at first, we just want to build this shape with the upper body, where we have the hips rotated. The hand is in line with the leg. The back hand is on the waist. My feet shouldn't be like this. My feet should be on a straight line. Shingiluha, everything is, is tight. We're bringing the body into a straight line. The elbow lifts up a little bit, the fingers pull down, back hand lifts up, elbow pushes back. So there's opposition here, like tearing cotton force. This is the first shape. We stand it, we ro ro rotate, or pardon me, I wrap our hips and waist, internally rotate the legs, press down into the feet, and find the whole body to be stretched, like taking the slack out of a tent. The chin tucks, the head lifts, everything compresses and sinks down. We'll talk more about this shape. We'll talk about the stepping methods for this shape and some of the strategies. And uh, yeah, good gong fu, good foundation, good bufa stepping, jiban gong, basic body method. Cheers. Thanks.